Hi, it's Mitz from My Life Mitz. Thank you so much for being here today. In this video, I will be working in my traveler's notebook. It is the undated weekly insert, and I have been really enjoying journaling in here. Just a heads up that there is a tiny bit of a spoiler from April's stationery selection box. I will be using the free printable that's included in the box uh, as a downloadable and I wanted to incorporate some of that uh, in my spread so the weekly insert that I've decided to use this year kind of captures just items that I pick up every day or you might notice there's not a whole lot of uh, journaling in terms of writing and there might be small little snippets here and there throughout the spread but a lot of it is like just packaging that I've picked up that's that I found interesting or maybe images that I find uh, interesting and there's a lot of uh, if you're new here I'm uh, living in Tokyo Japan and there's a lot of like free pamphlets and flyers and a lot of them have really fun, cute drawings or illustrations. And if I find, if I come across them, I usually pick them up. And this journal has allowed me to cut those fun little illustrations out and stick them in my journal. I've decided to use the Posca markers. I don't reach for these enough. I love how vibrant the colors are and the fact that it does not bleed through the paper is always a plus I need to reach them I need to reach for them a lot more but I just drew some orange stars throughout the spread it's strange sometimes I will work in it um, on a daily basis I'll just literally just do maybe five to ten minutes not even ten minutes just five minutes and I'll stick something in there and then there are times like you see in this video where I finish off uh, a good chunk of the page spread and um, yeah it really varies and sometimes I don't feel like journaling and that's okay and then there are times where I feel like sitting down and just playing in my journals so for the April printable for the stationery selection, you can see here, I printed one on the home printer and then one at work and there was a significant difference. I've also made several different um, versions and I ended up printing several times and I didn't want to make, I didn't want to waste the printables and that's why I decided to use them in the spread. You can see there the one that I printed or I cut out the word appreciate but um, yeah, I just ended up covering up, covering it up with the tearaway calendar and that's okay too. I liked the color pop there and ended up using it for that reason. I'm loving this uh, sticker release insert from Traveler's Company. I, my daughter loves helping me with it too. If I have a sticker sheet that has several stickers left, she'll help me transfer those stickers into this uh, notebook and it's been uh, really, really great having her help me through that and having, I'm trying to have that insert um, filled with stickers so that it's easier to just carry that one sticker release insert with me and it's uh, very compact and portable. And yeah, it's a really nice insert to have. The, the little memo pad, the Minnie Mouse. My school friend went to Tokyo Disney Sea, or be, oh, I think it was Disneyland, and they ended up um, purchasing like an omiyage, which is like a gift for my daughter. And it was a small little notepad of. Uh, Minnie Mouse and different characters so my daughter gave me a sheet and she said to stick it in my journal and so that's um, 
you what you see there and I'm just cutting off bits of washi tape this washi tape is from I, want, I think it's meatball washi tape if it's not correct I will uh, put a title here and yeah I just ended up using the tearaway date sheets to I don't use it for every single day it all really depends on on how I'm feeling uh, sometimes I'll use just Monday and then maybe Sunday or maybe I will I, I will admit that I I'm pretty sure all of the Mondays are in the like I, I use all of the tearaway dates for Monday so you can see the comparison with the right and left the the left one here is a little bit more uh, washed out and but still very very usable uh, so I decided to cut things out and yeah stick them in my journal so a little bit of a life update or not so much life update <laughs> just nothing exciting um, the we were told uh, on the news and whatnot that the sakura season in Tokyo would be around middle of March and it's now April and the beginning of April and I don't believe it's full bloom yet um, it's getting there but because of the weather these past several weeks it's been quite cold and windy and rainy the sakura just never bloomed and I think it's slowly getting there I was hoping that I could visit some park and take some videos or photos but I haven't been able to do that yet and unfortunately where I live I don't think there I don't recall if there's there's any like big sakura trees around here I remember when I first moved to Japan there was this very very big tall I think that's the, the tallest I've ever seen this really really big tall sakura tree and it was such a nice treat to see uh, when when I was walking uh, to and from this station the train station but around here where I live I don't recall there being um, sakura trees the neighbor has this red plum tree uh, that's already bloomed and um, but nothing like sakura I might try and visit I think my son's school might have some <laughs> I'm not sure but I'm gonna have to take a walk maybe we'll go for a walk around the neighborhood and try and look for some but yeah it's been a, such strange weather that the forecast was totally off in terms of the sakura blooming season and I I don't mind it because I don't want it to get too warm I know in the summertime it gets very warm and humid and this past weekend it was I think it went up to 28 degrees which was very warm um, but yeah in the summertime it gets a lot worse and so it kind of gave me a look into what the summer is going to be looking like <laughs> uh, so I didn't I didn't mind the cold rainy weather these past couple of weeks it's just that the sakura trees haven't decided to bloom yet um, and yeah it's not we're still on spring break for the kids and I it, it's really hard to juggle between um, yeah just kids and work home life and work life it's hard to balance that when the kids are off so I'm just trying my best here I'm doing this voice over early in the morning so I don't know if you recognize that my voice is a little croaky <laughs> I did have my coffee and breakfast but uh, it is early in the morning before the kids are up uh, very energetically uh, roaming around the house so so you saw me cutting out some of the flyers here I'm pulling the paper the right side paper upwards so that I can see that nice ripped paper edge that white section there and it's just interesting to have these vibrant graphic uh, papers and 
yeah, it's just fun. Whenever I spot some advertisements uh, that are free to take, I'll just, uh, yeah, it just catches my attention, especially if they're so vibrant in color. And I immediately think about my journals. And yeah, it's come to a point where my husband will take a business card, like if we go out to eat somewhere or um, we drop by a store or something and he sees a business card, he'll take one for me and he'll <laughs> say, here, this is for your journal. Uh, even the kids too, they've, um, they've already know that I'm going to put it in my journal and especially the stamps uh, from different uh, rest areas service areas on the highway and things um, they'll let me know right away mommy there's a stamping station <laughs> but a lot of the times when we go to when we go on a road trip or something I don't have the actual journal with me because we're just stopping to use the washroom or just stopping to grab a snack and so um, I try and look for a piece of paper that I can stamp on I need to remind myself to keep a small little notebook or just a small little folder with some postcards in it or something like that so that I can have them available. But yeah, I usually don't have my notebook with me when we visit those uh, service areas on the highway. So I'm just, yeah, I'm, I'm loving these Posca markers and just how vibrant they are and uh, using them as headings throughout the week. We took a family shoot, family photo shoot for the first time. It's kind of embarrassing to say we don't have a actual, like you know how people have family Christmas cards and they'll take a nice um, family photo during the Christmas time and you'll make them into cards and like send them out. We don't have, or we didn't have any f proper family portraits and so finally um, after all this time <laughs> we decided to finally go for um, like a proper family photo shoot um, and we also combined it with my daughter's it's called shichigo san in japan but you take these photos when you are three years old five years old and seven years old and although it's the seven-year-old daughter. Uh, she's. Not, it was. La it was for last year. Uh, we decided to just um, have her in the kimono and take photos for that occasion as well. Uh, even though it was supposed to be for last year, <laughs> um, but yeah, it was such a nice. Um, it was such a nice day to kind of get dressed up. I decided to also wear a kimono because I don't know. I don't have a kimono at home and wouldn't be able to put it on myself and I just I wouldn't even know where to begin and I just thought it was a nice opportunity to have that and share that moment together and so this is the look final look at the spread I hope you had fun thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you soon thank you so much for watching bye bye